Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you T flip flop to D flip flop conversion in this video. And to have flip flop conversion, one should know these steps where first we need to note down available flip flop and required flip flop. So you see here we have T flip flop that is available flip flop and D flip flop that is required flip flop. Now in second step, we need to write characteristic table of required flip flop. So here you can see required flip flop is D flip flop. So we need to write characteristic table of D flip flop. After that, we need to write excitation table of available flip flop. So here available flip flop is T flip flop. So we need to write excitation table of T flip flop. And by placing excitation table value in characteristic table of D flip flop, we can have Boolean expression by solving Carnot map. And once you solve Carnot map, based on Boolean expression, we can form a circuit of flip flop conversion. So let us complete this example step by step as I have explained those steps over here. So first step that is to note down available flip flop and the required flip flop. So here available flip flop that is T flip flop and the required flip flop is D flip flop. Now second step that is to write characteristic table of required flip flop. So here we have required flip flop that is D flip flop. So for that we need to write characteristic table. So in characteristic table we have current state input and next state. So input is D. Now see with this Q and N D input total combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. And next state for D flip flop that is similar to input. So here input is 0, 1, 0, 1. So next state that will be even 0, 1, 0, 1. Now Next step that is to write excitation table of available flip flop. So here you see available flip flop is T flip flop. So for that we need to write excitation table. So see excitation table that is QN, QN plus 1 with respect to input. Right. So this is what excitation table of T flip flop. Now here there are total four combinations of QN and QN plus one. And if you observe excitation table of T flip flop, right, that we have already derived. So that is 0, 1, 1, 0. Now we need to place this excitation table in this characteristic table. So you see QN and QN plus one, that is 0, 0. So here our T that is 0. Now you see QN and QN plus 1 that is 0, 1. So here our T that is 1. You see QN and QN plus 1 that is 1, 0. So T is 1 over here. And you see QN and QN plus 1 that is 1, 1. So T is 0 over here. Now once we have placed these values we need to simplify boolean expression and you see this boolean expression of t with respect to qn and d that is as per x or operation right 0 1 1 0 with this table it directly suggests this is what x or operation so we can directly say t is equals to xoring of qn and D and even you can simplify that by having K map if you want to see then I would like to solve it over here you see T with respect to QN and D T is 0 1 1 0 so 0 1 1 0 now we need to solve this K map so this is what one group and this is another group so this T is equals to this one is D Q N bar 
plus this group is qn d bar so this is what xor operation right so that is what i have already said now we need to form circuit based on this function right so here you see available flip flop that is t flip flop and required is d flip flop so available flip flop that i need to draw so that is t flip flop so this is t input and here this is my clock this is my output q and qn bar and here required flip flop that is d flip flop so i am just drawing d over here right now you see this t that is xoring of qn and d so this is qn so here we have xor gate where one input that is coming from qn and second input that is coming from d so this is how we can translate t flip flop into d flip flop i hope that you have understood this video now i'll explain you few more examples regarding flip flop conversion in next video so you just stay tuned with this channel thank you so much for watching this video